Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Mallory with Made by Manny and Mal. In today's video, we are going full patriotic Americana with a 4th of July themed tumbler. I really loved making this cup and hopefully you enjoy the tutorial. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. You can also hit that bell notification icon to be notified every single time we upload a brand new video. Okay, I think that's all. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to be using a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia for this design. These are pre-prepped and they come ready to go. You don't have to sand them, you don't have to paint them, which makes life so much easier. I like to use the pre-prepped cups when I'm incorporating white into my design or if I need my base to be perfect. We are going to be using the white of this cup in our design, so I'm going with the pre-prepped. We're going to be creating an American flag design on this cup, so I want to measure my cup height to make sure that I can fit all 13 stripes of the flag on there. So I'm taking 13 and eight, I'm gonna divide eight by 13. We're doing math here, so much fun. So that works out to be about 0.615 inches in height for each of our stripes. Then I'm going to measure all the way around the cup so I can figure out how wide my stripes need to be. We're going to be doing a half stars, half stripes design. So we're gonna cut this amount in half. So nine and a half divided by two is how wide each of our stripes need to be to make sure that they're even. I put together my stars and my stripes in Silhouette Studio and I will have the file available in my SVG shop if you want to download it and make sure that you have 13 stripes and 50 stars. You will have to resize it if you use a different cup, but at least you'll have the right numbers and proportions. I cut the red stripes out of Oracle 651 regular permanent vinyl and then the white stripes will be the white of our cup. I'm trimming the excess off the top and bottom as close to the vinyl as possible because I want to make sure that I get this as perfectly placed as I can on our cup. This is just about exactly eight inches high, so it's going to take up the entire length of the cup. So I've got a little bit of extra transfer tape on each side to help me anchor down my vinyl, and I'm just going to apply this like I would any other decal. I'm going to use the hinge method, so I'm making sure that this is securely in place, and I'm adding an extra piece of blue tape to make sure that my transfer tape doesn't move and mess up these stripes. They're pretty much perfect and I was not taking any chances. So once I've got that anchor down, I'm just going to pull my vinyl off the backing and then slowly hinge down my stripes. I'm applying this really, really slowly and carefully, making sure that I don't have any wrinkles or bubbles or lifting, anything like that in my stripes. This is kind of similar to how I would apply a full vinyl wrap, except with a vinyl wrap, I would apply moving towards my body versus away from it. This big squeegee I have is, I think, for drywall, but it's really great for applying large decals. I think I got it at Home Depot or Lowe's. Once I've got my stripes on, I'm gonna pull back my transfer tape, and then we're going to tape off those red stripes so we can paint the other side of the cup blue for the stars. I used royal blue paint from Rust-Oleum and once that was dry, I went into epoxy and we're going to glitter our star side using Liberty from Peachy Olive Glitters. So I'm applying a very, very, very thin layer of epoxy to my cup, making sure that I don't have any ridges or anything in there and then going straight in with this glitter. You can use any royal blue or navy glitter that you want. This one is a little bit of a chunkier cut and it's named Liberty, so I felt compelled to use it for this 4th of July cup. <laughs> I'm going to remove my tape immediately after glittering, and then I'm going to let this sit and dry for about four hours. I did use Fast Set Epoxy from CCDIY, but I just let it sit. I was doing other stuff, so it sat longer than it probably needed to. But anyway, once it was dry, I went in with my first coat of epoxy to seal this glitter in. I didn't spray seal it or anything. We were pretty good with our epoxy method application. So 
I went in with my first coat of epoxy using CCDIY Fast Set again, and I took a little bit of bright from Peachy Olive Glitters into this epoxy to give it a little bit of sparkle. I wanted to add some glitter to that red and white side as well, so this is a really easy way to do that and get an even sparkle on the entire cup. I let this first coat cure about four hours and then I went in with a second coat of epoxy. I didn't add anything to that coat, just left it plain this time. Let that one cure about six hours and then I was ready to apply our stars. I did two pretty thick coats of epoxy on this cup, so our cup is pretty smooth. We are going to do some sanding later on, but our cup is smooth enough to apply these stars and not have them be bumpy. If your cup is still bumpy after two coats of epoxy, go ahead and do your sanding and then you can apply the stars. It's not gonna ruin the decals or anything. They're gonna shine right back up and your cup will be totally fine. So we're gonna apply the stars the exact same way that we applied the stripes, except I'm going to cut out around the stars on one side just to make sure that they're not going into that stripe side and to make sure that we have them completely centered on that blue half of the cup. Still using the hinge method, doing everything the exact same way. Don't the stars make a huge difference? <laughs> this totally looks like the flag now. So we are ready to seal these in with another coat of epoxy. Once this coat of epoxy cures, I'm going to do any sanding that needs to be done. I'm really gonna focus on that upper rim and then on my seams where the stars and the stripes meet. And on the side that looks like the flag where the stars are on the left side and the stripes are on the right, I'm just going to do one of those royal blue stripes that I have down the seam. And then on the other side, I'm still gonna do a royal blue stripe, but then I'm gonna do like a bleach effect kind of method with white paint. And then we're gonna put this super cute water slide on there. So I'm gonna do any sanding and this is it, here we go. I pretty much just went to town with my 60 grit sanding block and then I washed it with dish soap and water so we can apply our little seam stripes. I tried to find a vinyl that would match my glitter as closely as possible because I don't want them to stand out. I want these to just kind of blend into the design and really just finish off those seams and give them a polished and professional look. Now that we've got our stripes applied, I'm going to take care of the bottom and I'm going with old tried and true electrical tape. I'm gonna tape off the bottom of my cup just like I always do. And then I'm going to use silver metallic from Rust-Oleum to give us a fresh base down at the bottom. I'm removing the saran wrap immediately after painting, but I'm leaving the tape on because once the paint dries, we're going to go in with the epoxy method and glitter the bottom of our cup. So I'm taking the tiniest bit of epoxy I can, really just like whatever is left on your glove if you are doing coats on other cups, that will be plenty for the bottom. So once I've got that smoothed on and thin, I'm gonna take my two glitters for the bottom. I'm using 1920 from PDB, and then I'm taking a little tiny little dribble of Salty Beach from Peach Yellow Glitters, mixing those together, and then we're going to apply them to our cup. 1920 is a gorgeous like holographic silver and then salty beach is a little bit darker so i wanted to mix them together to give just a little bit more dimension and a little bit more like liberty america vibes does that make sense <laughs> 
We're going to immediately remove our tape, and then I'm gonna let this sit and dry for about two hours. This is fast set epoxy, so it shouldn't take long because there really is like none on this cup. Once it dries, I'm going to do another coat of epoxy to seal in the glitter and give us a smooth base for our white bleach effect spray paint method. We want to make sure that we make our little bleach spot big enough for our decal, so I'm just kind of measuring very loosely. <laughs> and then I'm taking this Blossom White spray paint. This is a satin finish, so I did have to go back and do another coat of high gloss, just regular white over this once it dried. So I did technically do two coats of white paint. I'm holding the can pretty far back from my cup and I'm doing really short bursts of paint and color. I don't want this to get too out of control, if you know what I mean. Um, I just want this to be like a bleach t-shirt effect kind of. To seal my water slide, I'm using Rust-Oleum 2 times Clear Semi-Gloss spray paint. I realized I didn't have any gloss clear, I'm out, and all the stores are out, so I just made do with what I had, and it turned out totally fine. So if all you can find is semi-gloss clear, you are in the clear. <laughs> I did two coats of this, uh, waited about 20 minutes in between, and then did a final coat using the clear Plasti Dip. Once my water slide was all dry and sealed, I cut it out um, just using scissors, and I'm cutting as close to the decal or water slide as I can, just to make sure that all my edges are gonna slide off the backing pretty easily. If you want to use the print and cut feature on your cutting machine, you totally can. The only thing with water slides is that you're not gonna see the edge if you're using clear water slides, so it doesn't really need to be a perfect cut because you're not gonna see where the decal ends and it's gonna end up looking just the same anyway. Once my paint is dry, I'm going to put my water slide into my room temperature water, let it sit about two minutes, and then once it slides off the backing pretty easily, I am ready to apply it. I'm getting my cup wet just with the same bowl of water that my water slide is sitting in, and just using my fingers, we don't have to do anything fancy here. I grabbed some paper towels to help us smooth out our image once it's applied to the cup. So I'm just going to lift up a little bit of that water slide off the backing and then slowly and gently slide the backing out from underneath the water slide and the cup. And then I'm just going to reposition it on my cup. I want this to be at a slight diagonal angle just to make it a little bit more like pow, here it is kind of thing. Um, the cup being wet is what allows us to reposition it. So you want to keep the water slide, your cup, pretty wet during this entire process so that you can smooth everything out, reposition, make sure everything is down correctly and exactly where you want it. This will also prevent any cracks or breaking of your water slide. It won't tear or anything like that. So just keep your cup and your water slide as damp as possible. I'm using a wet paper towel to smooth out any bubbles. And once it's on there, we are just going to let this dry and once it's completely dry, we're going to go into our final coats of epoxy. This cup actually only needed one final coat because our water slide is pretty smooth. So I did one coat of 30 milliliters of a little extra epoxy. And once it was cured, we were all done. This cup is one of my favorite cups I think I've ever made. I am in love with how it turned out. When I first started this process, I wasn't sure if my vision was going to come to life and it totally did. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and you like this design just as much as I do. I can't wait to see your version of this design. Please be sure to tag me in any of your posts and pictures on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. I just wanna see what you create. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you are not already. And let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you, bye.